Hello everyone, I want to make a, uh, a sermon today. I'm going to be, I'm in a series on charity. I'm going to be in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, uh, 1 through 4, concentrate, and, and maybe 5, and concentrating on 4 and 5. It says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. <clears throat> charity suffereth long in his kind, charity envieth not, charity bondeth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own. I've done all of those so far, and now. It's, and the next one is not easily provoked. And that's the one I'm on. It goes on to say, It thinketh no evil, it rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. So today we're on, um, it's not easily provoked. Uh, God is love. And that's one of the things he gives to us. Uh, and it says it, it, it's not easy, charity is not easily provoked. Um, Hebrews 10, 24 says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. We're supposed to provoke, but in the right way, not someone else to anger or, or whatever like that. So uh, love is not easily provoked. It doesn't have a short fuse. You ever see people with a short fuse? Uh, I mean, it doesn't take much to set them off. And uh, some people that come into a room and it's, it's sunshine and roses and, and everything's lovely. And other people, it's like thunder and lightning. So charity doesn't do any of that. It's not easily provoked. It's patient. Um, you know, Ephesians 4.26 said, Be angry, be ye angry, and sin not. Let the sun... Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. It didn't say don't be angry. Uh, it, no, even Jesus was angry uh, at least once that I can think of right off the top of my head. And uh, it just means don't uh, don't let it go get out of hand. You can tell whenever you're in a situation and if things start rising up within you, you got to like a, a boiling pot, you've got to turn the heat down and, and cool it on down. Because if you don't, you're going to do something you're going to regret for the rest of your life. So be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. There are times when we become angry, uh, yet we're called to express our anger in a, in, a, in a constructive way. And love will guide you in the proper handling of anger. Jesus himself was angry, I said, as on, on at least one occasion. Mark 3, 5, it said, And when he had looked around about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto them, Stretch, un, He said unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched forth, and his hand was restored, whole as the other. So that was the man with the withered hand. Jesus was anger, angry at people's uh, stubborn refusal to acknowledge the truth, but he he didn't sin, and that's what the way he wants us to handle things. In fact, he used the situation for good, healing the man's withered hand. The scripture tells us, "Be slow to be angry." Ecclesiastes seven nine says, "Be not hasty in thy spirit." To be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. If you let anger rest in here, it, it, it'll just take up residence. Uh, you need to have put a no vacancy sign on there. But it'll just rest. You ever kick back in your recliner and just rest? That's what anger will do. It'll kick back and rest right in. It says it resteth in the bosom of fools. Uh, James 1, 19 and 20 says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. God is slow to anger and 
uh, abounding in love. And this description is, is, is quite telling. Psalms 86, 15 says, But thou, O Lord, art, full of, are, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and love. Love puts the brakes on answer, on anger, slowing it down for the sake of the loved one. Men hot tempered usually involves making snap decisions, uh, seeking revenge, and refusing to grant second chances to people. We want second chances, but we don't want to grant them to other people like we want them to be granted to us. Uh, true love, charity, refuses to jump to conclusions, take revenge, or hastily judge anyone. The fact that love is not easily provoked highlights God's patient love for the world. He's patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And, and may God grant us that type of love that can keep our anger in check. I've never been a, a more even keel, I guess, even before I started living for the Lord. Uh, I saw enough anger in my youth to do me a lifetime. Um, I, I just was around it and I didn't like it at all. I made up my mind. Even if I didn't live for God, I was not going to to live in that kind of atmosphere or put my family in uh, a, a bad atmosphere. So uh, if you just try, if you just try, just just for a little bit, just try for 21 days to be peaceful. Hold what you're gonna say. If it's if it's that good, it'll 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 keep. It'll be good. If it's good then, it'll be good a few minutes from then. I think so. Um, not easily provoked. That that would be a good good thing to work on. Uh, I tried to exhibit before my children a calmness that that they could imitate and they could do and it would be safe. Don't, I don't do everything right. No, no, no. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying that uh, it can be done. Uh, I hope this is helping you today. Uh, I hope that you can get something out of these that will help you. I, I, am, not tr I am not trying to replace you getting to church with these videos. I'm not, not trying to replace your minister. Just trying to give you a supplement of something. I know some people are into rehab and <clears throat> nursing homes, hospitals, uh, flat on their back at home and can't get out. The coronavirus. So I'm doing it for all of these people. If you're not one of them, you just uh, allow us to, to do this for the ones that's, that's, that needs it. So may God bless you. I love you so much. I care about you. And I pray that this will help you. So I'm going to give you my phone number, 256-508-4410 if you need me. Uh, I might not get back to you right away, but I'll try to get back to you. And if you don't get a hold of me, you leave a message and let me know what you need. So uh, until we do this next time, may God richly bless you.